guys, welcome to my channel. Or if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Allison and welcome to my channel. So if you guys are interested in fashion, beauty, lifestyle, make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below and also like this video to support your girl here. And without further ado, let's get started today's video. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys what the haul recently I've been really spending this month. I feel like because it's towards fall time and that's my favorite season. That's why I've been spending time to shop around to see what I should prepare for the fall weather. So for today, this video is a Zara haul and I typically like to shop in Zara when it gets into the new season because they have really good style and decent price. So now with the further like I started into the haul. So first thing first, I've been eyeing this top for a while. I saw my favorite Instagram, the girl that she knows how to purchase like decent price stuff from Topshop, from Zara and I saw her wearing this on her Instagram and I have to go ahead and try it on and see if it's my style and I love it so I purchase it myself. So first of all, these pieces I got it in a size small and I really like the puffy sleeve. Puffy sleeve is really in trend this season and also it does have this like translucent, like you can see through. This kind of style is really in trend throughout this season. So I paired this with a black leather high waist to kind of give a contrast with this white color. But I feel like you can definitely wear this with blue jeans, light blue jeans. But make sure you tuck this into your jeans, then it looks a lot taller, like kind of emphasize your height. So this is a really trendy piece in this fall summer season. Next piece, I purchased this for more of a fall time and for work. I think this was suitable for work because um, it gives you the white color contrast with the dark um, bottom. So usually at workplace, I like to wear more of a darker color because I don't want to emphasize how thick my thigh is or I don't want to emphasize my body shape. So I like to pair with a light top like this to go to work and I really like this puffy sleeve again and it does have this little, um, what is it called, the hairband and at the back there is a little closer here so I feel like this top it gives you like some design and the texture on the clothing is really nice. Also on the bottom, it's not too big, but I would definitely tuck it in again. I like to tuck my top into my high waist jeans so that it kind of emphasize uh, my height because I'm only 5'3 and I like to wear high waist jeans so that way it looks like my legs are longer. And also these little details on the sleeve that it gives, it kind of just give you a little puffy um five on the shoulder but it's not too crazy not like so loud out there so i would definitely recommend this for a workplace okay next step i have this matching piece and i have to say matching piece is really in trend this summer fall season i see a lot of people wearing matching piece of the sweatpants with a crop top and recently i'm definitely looking into a neon green sweatpants set but i can't find a good one online if you guys know comment down below but this piece is really comfy because first of all the top is just like a regular cardigan it's not crop at all it's just regular size but then it does have that deep V it shows your skin again it kind of helps to elongate your height because you show more on the top and have this tucked in to the bottom it just helps giving you an extra height so this one is really comfy. I like that it has a little details on the sleeve. As you guys can see, it's like a balloon sleeve. And then it comes from the shoulder. It's more of a thicker style on the shoulder. And then it goes down and slim down to your hand waist. So it's a really nice, comfy piece. And this comes in a matching set. So the bottom one here, I've been eyeing this for a while. You guys can see it's just a regular um, skirt, long skirt or midi skirt, you would say. And it does come with the details of the huge button, but this doesn't really function. It's just more of a decoration. And like that, it gives you two pockets here so that when you're taking picture, you can just put your hands in. It looks a lot more fashionable in a way but the thing i like this because um recently i purchased a top shop set matching set they're similar 
but different color so the neat on the top shop bottom is a lot thicker it kind of emphasizes my tummy so that it stretch when the knee is stretched so big it looks like you have huge tummy but this piece i really like because the texture on this is a really fine stripe and as you guys can see this texture and material is stretchable but then yet it doesn't emphasize your waist if you guys have a little tummy like i do this doesn't make you look bad and also i really appreciate little pieces down here that it gives you a little split so that it shows your leg it doesn't just cover up and i just love the little details on this skirt and the texture the quality is so nice so i highly recommend if you guys are looking for a matching set go for sarah okay moving on to the next piece i am kind of surprised that i found this piece and it's not expensive at all so I've been loving the silky midi dress and it's really in trend in this summer and it kind of brings into the fall time as well. And this piece is just a simple black midi dress but I just love the little details and I love the price. It's only like $40 for this silky dress and honestly outside the market right now you can find a lot would be 50 to 100 dollar a piece i just love the details on the side here because the string here it kind of links into the front part so that on this side on your body it's movable so that it makes sure that you can cover your boob on the side boob so i really like that it's adjustable in a way and honestly i don't have a really nice figure i don't have like bigger boobs on top so this one it really works for me so in the middle it does have little like slouchy like thing that it cover up the middle section of your boob and also the side it just fit me perfectly it doesn't show like my side boob i just love the fitting on this silky sleeve dress because it's really hard for me to find like a perfect one and I'm definitely gonna get another print from Sarah because this is a really good price for a silky dress. I honestly can style this in so many ways. I can put on a sweater, I can put on like a cardigan that I showed you guys earlier and I can put on a belt as well to make it more um, emphasize your waist area. So I really like um, this simple piece. You can match it in so many different ways. Moving on to the bottom part, I got this kind of jogger-like and I actually already own a piece of um, camel color, kind of like jogger, uh, military style but this is more like a slouchy one and I just have to grab it right away because I love it gives you a pocket and then I love the little details on the side it's like all bling bling diamond I just love the design on this one, it's like kind of like boyish but it still gives you the details of the more girly vibe and I love the feet on this it's so comfortable I can definitely wear this on the Friday at work time and I love that on the bottom it kind of emphasize it kind of like your angle so that it gives you some height it's really worth the price and if you guys know me normally if I'm not filming if I'm not taking picture outside I would just wear this on the Friday at work or every day on the weekend look because it's just so comfy I'm all about the comfy look because it gives me space on my thigh moving on to the next piece I actually love this style but as you guys can see in the try on it is a little bigger because I got this in a size 6 which is normally what I fit into but I'm definitely gonna exchange it to the size 4 because I really like leather like faux leather finish and then the fit on this is perfect I love it gives me some space on the thigh area and I can definitely pair this with a lot of different sweater crop top cardigan on top of this um, bottom because leather it just match every outfit or at least in my wardrobe there's a lot of outfit that can fit with just a black leather bottom and i like that it gives you a little details and um, the stitch here it kind of just help you look a lot taller in a way and also at the bottom i like sarah a lot of their bottom they have this little um hairband what is it called like um stretchy bottom it kind of emphasizes your angle and if you wear a boot on it it looks so cute so i really like it gives you a pocket and back pocket as well the back this is what it looks like 
I love a fall leather um, pants. It kind of gives you some edgy looking, yet yeah, still look cool, but you can pair with a lot of girly style. Next bottom, I actually wore this once and I did first purchase in a size small and I went ahead and returned it and get a size medium because um, I do have a little tummy and some space I needed in the bottom side. So this is a definitely a very high waist kind of check mark pen and I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I think I only have one in white and yellow check mark but I don't wear that often. I usually tend to wear check mark in the fall and winter time. I really love that it gives you that cozy looking and you can definitely feel the fall vibe and I just love it gives you this belt. It comes with um, the, the pens with it and I just really love this piece because um, it just stitch my waist perfectly and then I can hide my tummy on the bottom. So a little tips here if you guys have a little tummy make sure to go with a very high waist pants on the bottom to give you some nice figure, nice stitch to make you look like you taller. And also this is a very good piece to hide your belly in because your belly is going to be on this side on the bottom and you still have a lot of space on the bottom for you to move around. And also like the bottom part, it just wrap around your angle and this piece, it looks so nice with the stiff matting hues that I have and also any boots that you would wear for the fall time. So this piece is definitely a keeper for me. This style, it's something that is new to me and you actually can pair with a lot of like bottom and top part to play with it to get a different style. I'm gonna show you guys a picture here I post on Instagram. This is uh, what I would pair with during the fall time. I actually wear heels because it's still hot in the Bay Area so you can definitely pair this with a lot of like the booty style. It looks really nice. Moving on to the jacket, I did purchase this tan jacket um, like military style. So I did pair this earlier with a black bottom and also a tan military style bottom. It just looks so cute and definitely with this jacket I would just wear it with one way because I don't like how big and loose it is unless I'm going for that look. But this one I mainly purchased because it does have this little belt that it stinge your waist and I just love the way that it more of a loose fit but the way that it's stitched around because of the material is thick it just kind of shows the little flares on the bottom part when it is um, tied up and again personally I would just wear it in the way that I showed you guys earlier because I just love the material how it flares up on the bottom and also I like to like emphasize my waist to make it look cute instead of having it um, all just baggy looking. Okay, next moving on, I have another outwear. So this is a crop top puffy jacket and actually it's not that puffy because this thing is kind of thin but then I like that little puffy look but it's not too big oversized looking if you get what I mean. So this one I would pair with uh, a lot of my cargo pants because um, a lot of my cargo pants are high waist and this crop top actually is a good piece because it doesn't cover up to my butt area so it kind of gives me like you can see two sections of the body it's not like just one piece over um, the pants so the pants that I wear can be high waist and still can wear this on top because it shows the bottom part so I'm actually have been debating should I get this piece because uh, every time I went to Zara I saw this and they always have all size so I don't know if people don't like the color of this, the idea of um, crop top or a puffy jacket is too hot right now or what it is, but I decide to go ahead and purchase this because I feel like in winter time I wear a lot of cargo pants and also puffer jacket so I don't have to think of what I have to wear and not get cold. This is a really interesting piece because it says lining is 100% recycled polyester. So this piece is also padding made from recycled plastic bottle. So I don't know how did they do that, but it's a really good concept that they recycle and reuse the stuff in clothing. And I believe this also comes in another style 
or a pattern but I go with the green like check mark check mark as you guys can see as my thing during this fall winter time and by the way I got this in a size medium because I figure when I'm in the fall winter time I'll be wearing a sweater inside and on top I can just wear this jacket on top of a big sweater okay moving on to accessory this piece is actually a little pricey than I uh, assume so this piece is $40 for a belt so I really like the leather pattern here it's more like a crocodile pattern I don't know how you say it but I love this kind of reflect finish and I thought this is faux fur but now that it does come with a tag it says real leather but then ironically it says care for planet and leather tent using best sustainable practice so only the color is sustainable but the leather they use is still a real leather and this is also made in Spain but I just love the contrast of um, gold belt color like a simple square color matching with this reflective black patterned leather if that makes sense the reason I purchased this because I see a lot of people uh, wearing a lot of oversized blazer and definitely they're not woman size but a lot of people like wear those oversized blazer and then just tie it outside around the waist and remember I threw a black blazer last year but I never wore it because it's too oversized and also padded on the um, shoulder and I just can't find a way to wear it and I don't want to wear that and with a bike short to work so it doesn't make sense so I want to just wear this with a belt uh, on the waist so that it shows more feminine and yet it would look proper to wear it at work time if that makes sense okay last but not least in this sorrow haul I did go ahead and purchase this purse I normally don't purchase a lot of purse from Sarah because I already own like a designer brand so I, I'm trying to reduce the amount of purse that I purchase but this one it just caught my eye because I've been eyeing for a Chanel backpack but actually I do have a lot of backpack and I don't want to waste a lot of money on um, designer brand since I already have a few so I want to spend a little money on this similar style and also I just love the letter it's kind of reflective it's similar to Chanel I think I'm not sure because I haven't go into the store and look into the Chanel one but I feel like this style is very similar and I just love the chain that it tied on the back around here because it just gives you a more edgy style I just love this cool like black reflective leather with this grungy gray chain on the back and also I just love the size of it it's huge you can definitely fit a lot of things in this purse and actually I did um, put a lot of stuff in it I uh, wear it to work yesterday I just love the little details here but I have to say this purse um, is not very structured because you guys can see since I have stuff inside it's going to work to the front part because you are wearing this backpack um, like this and there's only one string holding on the back side to pull up this backpack so I feel like this is a really good piece to invest since I don't want to purchase a designer brand and I feel like this is very similar to what I want and I just love the leather it looks really expensive reflective and with a little details here I just have to get it oh, one more thing I forgot to show you guys is a t-shirt that I'm wearing it's also from Sara I love this t-shirt and because this little pocket here is made in silk finish. I just love Sara did a little details here, but yet it's not um, blowing in your eyes. It's not showing the color or just um, something that it pops in your eye. I just love the little details. I think I'm just like the person that I like details that doesn't show and pop right away. So I just love this t-shirt. It matches a lot of the outfit and also just a basic t-shirt but yet it gives you a little um, details on it I just love that okay last but not least I don't think I show you this in a try on because I just grabbed this from my room so this is a oversized t-shirt graphic t-shirt and I've been looking for a lot of graphic t-shirt online but it didn't catch my eye but when I was in store in Sara I feel the texture on this t-shirt is so comfy and the print is actually it's 
in a really good material and I just love that it's basic and with the pop-up color um, contrasting with this portrait and the white color so I have to get this I got this in a size medium because I wanted to more of an oversized so I can just wear it on top easily or I can just tuck it into my jeans or high waist pants okay guys so that's it for my Sara try on haul I hope you guys enjoy watching this video I know it's my second time doing this on my channel so stuff that I might talk weird and don't know how to explain pieces please forgive me I'm gonna definitely get more into it I have another haul coming up soon so you guys make sure to subscribe down below and like this video to support me and I'll see you guys in the next one bye Okay guys, actually I have a few more pieces I forgot to add into this video. So I'm gonna go through it now. I have this oversized denim jacket and because the Instagram and because I follow the girl on Instagram, she's really good at styling these pieces and I'm gonna put her picture here and I'm gonna put a picture how I style it. Kind of similar to her but um, she's more skinny, definitely a lot taller so it might look different. But I just love the way that she um, styled this simple piece and also it is heavy for this denim jacket I didn't expect it would be heavier than this jacket right here but this denim definitely is, is more of a heavy weight this weight a lot I'm not sure how I'm liking it but I do like the wash finish it's not like all black but it's more of a washed black denim and I love the bottom part. It's more of a U shape so that it emphasizes your leg length, if that makes sense. So um, this piece, I'm gonna try out and see how I play around with it. I do like the finish, but it's just a little heavy on the weight and also it's a little stiff on this um, kind of like armpit side. So um, I'm going to play around with it and see how I like this piece. And moving on to the next, this is my favorite, favorite pants. I have already worn this and I love it because of the contrast. So closely you guys can see it does have this, I'm not sure if it's a dark blue or is it a black on this pen color, but this stitch is an orange. It gives you a very nice contrast. And I love the feet because it looks like it's a very white leg finish and it definitely looks like a dress to me in a way if you're not walking like kind of crazy. <laughs> but if you walk normally, I feel like this is uh, a really nice that it looks like a dress looking kind of pants. I just love the finish and I love the stitch contrast and the back, it also has a pocket that would stitch. I just love that contrast in general and this fit me perfectly. I got this size in the medium. Okay, seriously, this is last but not least the item that I purchased and this is the first sunglass I purchased from Zara. I love that it comes with this magnetic faux leather sunglass cover. It looks so sleek and the glasses style is this. So I feel like these glasses you definitely have to wear it downward and maybe tie a low bun hair. I really like this style recently. I just love that the frame it has different color, contrast and the pattern on the frame. It looks very like mom vibe. I just love this style. So stylish. Okay, so that's all for this Sarah haul. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and enjoy me try it on and see how it looks on top. And also, hope you guys don't mind. I might talk a little weird throughout the video, like describing the clothing because it's only my second time doing this type of video on my channel. Hope you guys understand that. So there will be a second try on haul up after this video. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. And also if you guys are interested how I style these pieces and how I mix and match with these pieces that I just talked about, make sure you guys follow my Instagram. I have a second Instagram actually. This Instagram, I mainly do more of a fashion or OOTD account. So if you guys want to see how I mix and match, I'm going to tag this clothing on my Instagram post so that you guys can check it out. 
And I love fashion, I love sharing with you guys uh, the pieces that I purchased, where I got it from, and also how I mix and match it. So definitely give it a follow on this Instagram account. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!